No, but I do feel uh, Mary Magdalene. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, we were just talking about you, and I guess that's how this works now. We talk about <laughs> someone, they show up, you know. So, hello. Thank you so much for being here. What did you want to let us know today? So, I'm seeing her as a serpent, mm -hmm. as a magician. So, she has like a wand in her hand, the serpent magician of the divine feminine. It's very profound. Let's break that down. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with serpent. What is the serpent? spirit animal or what does the serpent represent the energy body so how to move the energy throughout your body um, and the core energy up through your spine to activate this energy to become the magician does this have to do with kundalini yes it is part of it because the kundalini energy rests dormant at the base of your spine so once you begin to move this energy beautiful incredible things can happen and you can use this energy to manifest um, anything that you want in your life you are the greatest magician once you learn how to use your serpent energy okay now let's go one more so serpent magician now, why was it important for these two words to be in combination? Why serpent magician specifically? Because when you learn to harness your sexual energy, when you learn how to move it through your entire body, when you learn to release this energy towards a manifestation or towards a prayer, it is so powerful that you become the magician that suddenly magical beautiful creations will fall right in front of you that if you harness this energy if you use it towards your greatest manifestations this is how you become the wizard or the magician in your own life and as the divine feminine, once you learn how to use the sexual energy, then you can manifest anything that your heart desires. Now, how can you use sexual energy for your benefit, for women specifically? she's showing me when she was in egypt in the mystery schools and that she taught other women how to use the sexual energy and create from it so she taught women how to become the creators in their lives and the first step is understanding that you deserve pleasure mm -hmm. that you deserve to be in your body that you deserve all parts of your body, that you have all parts of your body for a reason. And when you utilize them, it connects you closer to God and it allows you to create with God. Okay, and then does this energy necessarily come from your sacral chakra? It comes in through the root. Okay. So it comes in, you are, once you begin to balance your chakras it really becomes a portal for this energy and it comes in through your root chakra and that is why it's so important to understand that you are deserving of pleasure because if you have any kind of blocks in your root and then if you have any kind of blocks in your sacral then this energy will not be harnessed but once you understand that you are deserving of this pleasure, that it brings you closer to God, and it's the way that God created it, then we can open up your channel and bring that sexual energy from your root, from the base of your spine, up through all of your chakras, 
through your pineal gland, out through your crown, and we can give all of that energy to your manifestations. Now does this, when you say pleasure, is this specifically sexual or is it just pleasure in any way such as, I know some people get pleasure through watching a good program or eating foods that they really enjoy. What do you mean by pleasure? So in this case, we are speaking of a sexual energy. Okay. So the way that we taught this in the mystery schools is that it is it must be used um it cannot be overused mm -hmm. so it is important to harness your sexual energy it is important that you do not waste your sexual energy because sexual energy is healing energy it is creative energy so it is very important that you are not just wasting it on any partner that you are not wasting it on yourself whenever you want to um, it is very important that you learn to utilize this energy and you can allow this energy to build before you do this practice um, that will make it even more powerful but we also just want to not warn but this is an extremely powerful practice that, that um, just kind of be aware that it could have a significant impact on your energy field and the energy flowing through your body. Mm -hmm. So we just want you to be aware before you try this practice. Now, before you start this practice, should you set some kind of intention? Absolutely. So we want you to look at as an orgasm as a prayer. Mm -hmm. So look at it as before you do this practice, look at it as what do I want to create? What do I want to manifest? What can I give my sexual energy towards? So have an idea, have a, a create this into like a full body prayer, an embodiment of your creation. And then while you do it, you can say like, I deserve pleasure, I am powerful, I am, um, use your I am statements of whatever you want to create. So if you were trying to build your business, you could say like, I am a quantum healing practitioner, I create my business to help others and just have that picture of your intention in your head while you do this and then as you orgasm give that orgasm as a prayer into the universe as um think of it as like a divine manifestation you are giving instead of wasting all of this energy this is a way to utilize it and give it to your creations should you inform your partner that you're doing this beforehand yes yeah, so you can do this with a partner or by yourself it doesn't matter okay okay but should you let them know that you are just so i don't want to say it's manipulative but like just so they're they they understand that you're doing this and they're kind of in on it yes okay. and if both partners are doing this at the same time then that energy is amplified mm -hmm. so if the two partners have the same intention then that's a double sexual energy going towards a manifestation okay, thank you so much for that now is there any specific procedure for this like a step-by-step -step of what one should do if they are to try to harness sexual energy to manifest so you can begin just by being in tune with your body you can begin just slowly you can begin by um, your root chakra just feeling the energy swirling around your root chakra and as you feel that pleasure more and more around your root chakra 
just saying I deserve pleasure I am God I am one with God and then feeling that pleasure bring it up into your sacral feeling that sexual energy in through your sacral being thankful for your pleasure and the creation or and the creation of your manifestation as you come in and bring it up towards your um, solar plexus feel the power of that manifestation what would it feel like to be in that manifestation feel the gratitude that that manifestation has already been created bring that energy feel that energy up into your heart as you continue to do this feel that energy circling in through your heart as you continue to feel this pleasure thanking for the pleasure loving the pleasure knowing that you deserve this pleasure as a divine feminine being and as the pleasure gets more and more intense bringing it up through the throat feeling it in the throat physically feeling it activate in your pineal gland and um, if you guys are not aware of the joe dispenza breath um, you could go and look it up but also what you can do um, as you are feeling this pleasure is begin to squeeze as you get closer to that orgasm begin to squeeze um, your root your perine perineum <laughs> begin to squeeze um, your abdomen muscles and just bring all of that energy instead of releasing it out through the root bring all of that energy up bring that deep breath up and hold it at the top of your head um, again we just want to warn you that all this energy is going to go shooting to the top of your head it may make you feel lightheaded so we're just warning you that this is an extremely powerful practice especially the more that you do it but as you bring up all of that energy up into your head just completely feel that manifestation feel the pleasure of your manifestation feel the pleasure of being and creating that manifestation take a second to live in that manifestation and then when you're finished just release and just release it from the top of your head and just be thankful for the manifestation thankful that you are one with god and just turn this more into like a full body prayer turn it more into a way to embody your divine feminine manifestations a way to embody how to turn your manifestations and how to turn your creations into pleasure into pure pleasure because you deserve it because you are the beautiful divine goddess thank you so much for that is there anything that you wanted to tell us about sex alchemy or is that all the same thing so this is self sex alchemy mm -hmm. this is transmuting your energy it is transmuting your sexual energy into your manifestations thank you for that are there any other messages that you have for us today we invite you to try this practice to become more embodied in this practice and to remember that you are the divine feminine um, do not overuse this practice it is good to allow that sexual energy to build before you um, use your sexual energy so it is not good to like practice it daily um, we don't want to give you a time frame because everybody harnesses their sexual energy differently but this can be especially if you're trying to manifest this is extremely powerful because it's a way to uh, harness all that sexual energy in your body and actually use it in a form of a prayer so think of it more as a prayer for your manifestations thank you for that is there anything else that you wanted to let us know about um sex magic or sex alchemy or any other messages that you had for us today just that you are a beautiful divine goddess that deserves pleasure that the g-spot is called the g-spot because it's the god spot wow. 
(laughs) (laughs) That sexual energy brings you closest to God. And you have... You have been taught in this system where you should not... Do you have grown up in a system that is very masculine, that does not completely respect the divine feminine, but that is changing. And so we just want you to... We want you to really step into that power, the divine feminine, and embodying these practices embodying sex alchemy using your body in a form of prayer that is the divine feminine so we just invite you to step into the power of the divine feminine because it is so needed at this time so that we can bring the masculine and the feminine back into balance with each other thank you so much mary magdalene for all of your beautiful messages and for educating us today i certainly do appreciate it and I will walk away here with new information so thank you so much